And so TNT has ordered a pilot for the new TV show Snowpiercer, which will be based on the movie Snowpiercer. Now, this movie came out a couple years ago, and if you've watched the show, I did a review on it. I talk about it all the time. I absolutely adore that movie. It was so cool. The styles, it's just amazing. And it, to kind of give you a summary of what it's about is the Earth went through crazy global warming. Well, in order to get rid of this global warming, scientists were like, hey, we're going to shoot this thing in the atmosphere to cool everything down. Well, that created an ice age. And there's only one set of the civilization. Uh, only one set of the civilization is alive, and that are the people who got onto this train that apparently can run forever. And it just literally, every year, circles the globe. That's all it does. It circles and circles and circles. So who so made it takes the place track? About, uh, whoever How did, did a good job. I, I, I mean, I can understand after everything's, like, frozen over, laying the track work, but I don't, I'm just wondering. How, no, how no, they the got track, track was down before everything froze. So. All right. But this place... Uh, I want to say 15, maybe 20 years after the train has already started moving and the ice age has already started. And you have the haves and the have nots. Well, the have nots are stuck in the back of the train. They're fed this, this disgusting, like green gelatin every day. And they're pretty much subjected and, and, you know, whatever they want. Well, the people in the front get to party and have a good time. Well, of course you can't keep them down for that long. And Chris Evans is the star of this movie. Yes. You might know him as captain America. Uh, leads a revolt to take over the front of the train. And that's where everything goes. But this movie was one of my favorite movies of that year. And still one of my favorite movies to this day, just because of how stylistic it was. Every single train car you got, well, not every car, but every segment of cars you got to had its own style, had its own vision, had its own personality. And it was almost telling the story by which train car they were in and moving forward. Now, I will say that you kind of get a little lost towards the end. Like they throw a lot of stuff at you at the end of the movie, which kind of don't need but it was it was a great great movie all the way through my only problem is it was a great hour and a half movie two hour movie i don't know if it'll be a great tv show and if it is going to be a tv show like you're not going to have more than one season and if you do try to have one more than one season you're just stretching and stretching and stretching everything so thin that i can't imagine that you'll really be able to keep up with it make I mean, a longer train this could be a really yeah. long train but you can't make a train that's that long. I mean, yeah. I, it's you know, going around the world okay. and perpetually. So. Yeah, true, true. You can make a huge train. Fine. No problem. We make a huge train and you keep it the way it was in the movie. Each train car or each segment of train cars has its own personality and has its own distinct setting. Cool. No problem. You could do that for one season. Ten episodes done. That's it. You cannot do that for more than one season. If they try to extend it out to 15 to... 26, which it's TNT, and I believe they usually do the standard 20 to 26 episode seasons, not 26, uh, 23 episode seasons. I just I don't see it happening. I just, I, I don't think there's enough material there. Now, you could go back to the graphic novel, which I actually haven't read, but it was apparently a spectacular graphic novel. Um, and also the director uh, for Snowpiercer is also saying that he will be helping out creatively with the TV show. I just I don't see that much there. Maybe and that they, saddens me. Well, maybe if they don't start, or if they do like flashback episodes, or don't start on the train and go over all that stuff, how they got to that situation. Okay. Fill it out. Okay. See, there, and, all right. Flashback episodes could 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 work, and there and again, and you and I did say there's about fifteen to twenty years before this first revolution starts, or this like it's actually the fourth or fifth re revolution. Where they retake, uh, where, where where we get, get meet the main protagonist. Um, so I guess yeah, you could go backwards. I just I don't, I don't know if you want to. It's still cool moving forwards. You're right. <laughs> you know, so. but but they could show you know okay, this is how all these people got on the train because I mean most of the people were born outside of the train. They knew a little bit of a life before on the trains. Just you know they've been on the train for so long they kind of forget it. But that could be an interesting way of doing it. That is, I didn't think about that, Brennan. Good on you. They could show the scientists freaking out and, uh, you know, shooting whatever chemical into the atmosphere and really just destroying the world by sending it into an ice age. Yeah. So, I don't know. Various things along those but lines. I, I will watch it, and we will have a review on it, of it on this show. So, whenever it comes out, probably not for a while. They just ordered the pilot episode. I imagine it'll take a couple months for them to even get the pilot episode there. And then when we do get the pilot episode, you know, the studio's got to think if they want to keep it and they want to move it to a full series. 
I'm just hoping I get to see the pilot episode. That's all I hope. Yeah. But never know. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. What do you think they should do to elongate it out in a good way? I, I actually like Brendan's idea very well. But hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Who does Facebook? Always good ways of getting a hold of us. Let's keep on moving. <laughs>